Hey guys, so today I have swatches of some of the new Good Kind Pure polishes from Sally Hansen. I have seven shades here all together. This is a fairly new line that is 16 free, 100% vegan and plant-based. There are 30 nature-inspired shades plus a nail hardener and a top coat. So seven polishes here all together and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Pink Cardamom, and this is a lighter, maybe leaning, medium, nudey pink, or pinky nude. Not really sure which one should come first. So this one is pretty opaque on that first coat and pretty even. It does have some streaks. Well, that was no polish there. It does have some streaks when you first apply it, but those do level themselves out pretty nicely. And these have a nice wide paddle brush as well and good formula on this one also. So this one does cover completely in two coats. I don't, it is possible, I guess, that you could need three coats maybe for some streaks, but I don't think it's super likely. So that is two coats of pink cardamom. So the next polish is called Lavendier. This is a lighter purple. It does lean a little bit, like it has like a splash of pink in it. It's a little bit warm. So this one also covers pretty well on that first coat. Pretty opaque, especially for being a lighter color. There are some very minor streaks. And good formula on this one as well. Not too thick, not too thin. So this one also covers completely in two coats, which is pretty nice for a lighter shade. You kind of go into shades that are this light, just expecting to need three, so that I'm pleasantly surprised when I need two. So that is two coats of Lavendier. The next polish is called Peony Origins, and this is a bright pink cream. So this one also covers pretty well on the first coat. It is a little bit streakier than the last two have been, and good formula on this one as well. So this one also covers completely in two coats. This is one where I could see you needing three to cover streaks, just depending on your application. And all of the polishes so far have dried shiny. So that is two coats of Peony Origins. The next polish is called Eco Rose, and this is a darker, rosy shade. So this one also covers really well on that first coat. This almost looks like it could be totally opaque, but I'm probably going to end up doing two coats of it anyway. Just because a lot of times, once a polish is fully dry, you see a lot more flaws with it than when it's wet. And good formula on this one as well. This one does cover completely in two coats. I really think that some people might be okay with one coat of this polish. It's just... A little bit not quite there for me. And I do think I get a little bit better of a color out of that second coat as well, but I had just a couple of streaks, a little bit of nail line showing, just things that I wanted to cover, and you can see it is a bit darker. So that is two coats of Eco Rose. The next polish is called Golden Quartz, and this is this kind of foil metallic rose gold shade. So this one is more sheer on that first coat, which is a little surprising to me only because I feel like this would have been an easier polish to be opaque. I've had a lot of polishes like this that were really opaque, but it's not like so sheer that it's a problem. So this one does build up pretty well on that second coat. I do still have some nail line showing. It's not bad. I think a lot of people would probably be fine with this in two coats if they had like the same level of nail line showing that I have now. But because I'm picky and I just like to have everything covered and I'm not offended by three coats, I'm going to go ahead and do a third. So this one does cover completely in three coats. Like I mentioned, you could probably be okay with two, it's just going to depend on your preference. I do really appreciate that this is a more sparkly foil metallic as opposed to like a brush strokey, more chrome. So that is three coats of Golden Quartz. The next polish is called Sweet Berries, and this is a pretty bright, uh, I can't decide if it's red or pink, it's right in between the two. And then it also has a slight, what actually looked like a pink shimmer to me in person, but almost looks like it's reflecting a little bit blue in the camera. So this one is not streaky on the first coat, but you can see my nail line pretty clearly. I feel like that always happens with these kind of brighter red shades. For some reason your nail line really pops out through the first coat or two. And good formula on this one as well, and that pink shimmer that's in there does seem to stand out pretty well. So this one does start to build up a little bit in two coats. 
I don't know how well it's going to pick up on camera, but I can still see a decent amount of my nail line. So I'm going to do a third coat here. And the color does get a little bit deeper with that second coat. So this one it does cover pretty well on that third coat. I will say it still doesn't cover completely for me, but I have to really look at it to see any nail line. And it does seem like that third coat makes it even a little bit deeper. So that is three coats of Sweet Berries. And the last polish is called Beat It, and this is a pretty dark, slightly reddish purple shade. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. It's just slightly jellyish. I wouldn't call it a jelly, but it has that just slightly squishy look to it. And good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats, and it does dry fairly shiny as well. So that is two coats of Beat It. The last thing that I have to show you is the top coat, the Good Kind Pure top coat that came out also with this new line. I haven't had an issue with this working well over the other polishes in the line. Granted, most of them are creams. I didn't get any any kind of fantastic wear out of it. It really like it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either which is a very neutral wear. The only issue that I did have with it is I don't think it works well as a universal top coat. Anything that I found that had glitter or um, a stronger shimmer, this kind of dulled it out. It made everything look just a little bit cloudy. So any polishes that had a lot of elements in them, flakies, glitter, shimmer, just kind of, it, they just didn't stand out as well. They got a little clouded with this over top of it. So not really a big fan of this. Having this on the back of my hand is the only way that I can really get the camera to focus on it. Hopefully you can tell that this swatch here, just the flakies don't stand out as well. They look a little bit dull and a little bit blurred as opposed to this one right here. This swatch here has the top coat on it. Now, while I haven't seen all 30 shades, I mean the seven that I have, Nothing to write home about, but I do really, really like Golden Quartz. Um, it's a it's a nice rose gold metallic, and it is foily enough. I know I use that term for it. I use it for like a very sparkly metallic, something that's not pearly, doesn't have a lot of brush strokes, and just has a bit more dimension to it. So it's a good foil metallic rose gold, which I think is the best way to do rose gold. So those are the new Good Kind Pure polishes, some of them anyway, from Sally Hansen. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.